Greetings, Southeast YouTube. It's Hayden here, here. How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today is another episode of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find today. Um, I haven't been to this Goodwill in like a few months, so I'm super excited to take you guys. I think actually I haven't been here at all this whole entire year. So this is the first time this year that we're going into the store. So cross your fingers for me. Hope we can find some good treasures. And if you guys love thrifting, you love thrift hauls, you love vlogs, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, and check out my Instagram and Facebook, it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Say hi. I love talking to you guys on there and interacting with you guys. And I love posting like a little Snapchat, like little tidbits in like my story, in my stories on Instagram and asking you guys if I should get something because your input is invaluable to me and sometimes I'm just on the fence and I just need some help deciding whether or not to get something and don't forget to check out my shop it's hadrian.com to see what I have for sale for my thrifting adventures and I just posted a ton of really good stuff so check it out love it uh, but without further ado let's go into the store I'm really excited to take you guys in there with me so let's go I'm a little obsessed with this mirror it's pretty fabulous I just walked in it's in like the front of the store Cool, and it's so heavy. What do you guys think? So I just made a post on Instagram and my story is asking if you guys think I should get it. So yeah, it's like, are your input is invaluable. And yes, I'm wearing pants today. It's raining. Okay, I'm going quickly through the handbags. They're pretty much all been Target bags so far. This one's pleather, but it's like falling apart. Carter's. Bunch of this keyboard and every time I see these target bags, I always think they're Kate Spids. My inner grandma really likes that. Oh, here's another. Oh my gosh, this looks almost like the B. Mikowski I just found at a store earlier on today. Oh, this bag has a bunch of stuff inside of it. <laughs> Is any of it good? Railway ticket? Sundries? Anyway. $25. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. This one has no label. It's an interesting style, but it's cracking and falling apart too. This kind of looks like a Chanel. Look at that. Damage the Forever 21. I was fooled. I almost thought this was a Dooney, but it's called Gold Duck. Genuine leather though, in $7.99. Gotta love these South Coast Plaza handbags. Shout out to South Coast Plaza. It's one of my favorite malls. <laughs> Always see their bags at the Goodwill. But they're awesome. They're pretty well made too. So if you're looking for a good shopping bag or something, definitely pick one up because they're more a lot cheaper here than they would be over at Izimol Black River. No, this is pleather. I like that style though. Alright. Looking at the wallets and stuff. Look at these mirrored ones. These are from Target. This Nintendo one is pretty cool. Also from Target. All right, let's go check out the rest of the store. Oh wait, what's this? Urban Expressions. This one, no label. It's kind of cute though. This one is street level. Wow, they really expanded the furniture section since the last time I have been here. This is actually super cool. $15 though. This is interesting too. Really dusty. This chair is kind of cool. The blue and white stuff is calling my name but that's cracked unfortunately. Otherwise I totally get it but it's definitely broken and someone pieced it back together. that crack too okay so found this sharknado thing it's so cute and i have to get it i love sharks and i love sharknado movies 
and I found like this um, kind of like a fake or like Bayo Bayo bag, only $4.99. It's pretty cute. Then I found these cute like leather pouches, exposure, and these are only $1.99. I'm going through the dinnerware and plates and stuff. Oh, this looks like a pottery barn plate from like back in the day when I used to work there. Oh, and it is Star Pottery Barn. Gorgeous. It looks to be in pretty good condition. There used to be a bowl too that went with this. Oh, are you serious? Is this it? <gasps> Sold. Look how cute this is, you guys. So you have the plate. Bam, perfect for 4th of July. Put some peanuts in there or something. You're good to go. Let's see what else we have. Maybe they have another plate set. Okay, I'm definitely on the hunt for more of those. I'm really excited about it. I'm feeling the Pottery Barn spirit. Pottery Barn, where are you? Oh, this is a cool turkey platter. Spode. <gasps> I love Spode. And I love Thanksgiving turkeys. I, is it weird that I kind of wish it was blue and white like that? Here one imports. Always look down below, you might find something really cool down here, you never know. Feed USA. Oh, I remember those. <clears throat> There's like a little marble cutting board thing right here. $3.99. Oh, I think I see some Pyrex right here. Is this Pyrex? I think it is. It's really sticky that I don't want to touch it anymore. Oh, now my hands are sticky. Ugh. Where are my wipes? I don't know why I am so drawn to this. I love the print. Let's see what it is. I have no clue what that means. Asta? So cute. There's a matching one. So cute. What is this? The flowers are pokey. Let's see what else that. <gasps> Starbucks? Time out. $12.99 though. This one still has the top. Why are they so expensive? You guys. I'm dying. I need this in my life. It's broken, so I'm not gonna get it. But it's so cute, I really like the black. This is a really pretty like bowl. California USA, $9.99. H17, number two. This is probably like, it's definitely probably made here. That's really cool. I like this kind of stuff. This is actually really pretty. $4.99, this is like perfect for not just for like drinking, but for flowers and stuff, it'd be really, really pretty. But I'm over here looking at faces and stuff of that nature. Going through the rest of these vases and stuff. Ooh, this little guy is cool. $2.99. This is kind of cool. Looks like it's like a really cute piece of pottery. I like the designs on it. It's like modern and like kind of vintagey looking at the same time. $2.99. So what else we have here? It's another white vase right here, but yeah. This is pretty. Oh, it's damaged. That's unfortunate. I totally would have gotten it. Are you guys seeing this? This is beyond gorgeous. TJ Maxx, $6.99. What do you guys think? I have this in blue, but it's like, I think the one I have is smaller, and it's actually like 
You can actually use it as like a pitcher. I think that's just for flowers or decorative. It's really pretty though. Uh, should I get it? Uh, I don't know. It's really dirty, but I think I can be cleaned. Oh, there's a chip right there. Okay, I think that's gonna tell me again. No, there's more chips on the bottom too. All right, now I'm looking through glassware. Oh no, here we go. Zimugs. Oh, one of you guys messaged me last night showing me this anthropology mug that had an H on it asking me if I wanted it. You guys are so sweet. You guys are always thinking about me and I love you guys so much for that. Um, I did decline though because I kind of just like want to see if I can find one on my own. This is really cute. Um, and then if I do, it'll make it like really exciting though. That was very special that you messaged me about that. That was like so awesome, and you know how much I love mugs, so. <laughs> but running through here, don't really see anything. I'm really catching my eye, but there's so many mugs. Like I'm kind of having sensory overloads. So you kind of sometimes you kind of you kind of have to have tunnel vision when you're at the Goodwill. Just kind of like block everything out, put on your blinders. Trying to get rid of that peripheral vision so you don't get too like overwhelmed with everything. Look at this crate and barrel. How cute is this little crate and barrel teapot? It's only $3.99. I think I'm gonna have to get this if it's not damaged. That's really cheap for crate and barrel. It still has a sticker on it. I wonder if it says price. Peeled it back, didn't say a price, but I mean, I'm inspecting it. it, looks pretty good. I think I might just get it. I almost thought this said how to get away with murder, and I love that TV show so much. Have you guys ever seen that? Let me know down in the comments below if you guys watch How to Get Away with Murder. It is such a good show. I just watched it the other night, and I was dying. Like, literal cliffhanger ending. So good. Uh, I don't even want to say what it is about, because I don't want to ruin it for anyone that hasn't watched it or, like, wants to. Is this one of those dancing flowers? I used to have one of those, but mine was, like, plastic and that fabric. That little ottoman is pretty cute. Oh, look at these like TV consoles. Those are really nice. Look at this dinosaur picture frame. That's so cool. You guys, they knew I was coming. They brought out the H. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This is actually kind of cute looking. Very holiday. I got a bunch of stuff. But it's raining, so I'm going to run to the car. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave down below in the comments what your favorite items that we found. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a new video. And the all for you guys again. I love you guys. See you then. Bye. Ooh. Oh, $75. But it's expensive. Oh, this case bait is pretty cute. 32. Oh, this coach is gorgeous. 75 though. That is pricey. Why are you so expensive? Charles and Keith. Michael Kors, much as this little crossbody. 37.